All she wanted was a better life. Jennifer and her three children, an 18-month-old and a six- and three-year-old, were all arrested last week after crossing into the United States and asking for asylum. She tells me she fled the political violence and lack of opportunity back home in Nicaragua. A judge let her out of jail, but she's not free. Her crime? Illegally crossing the U.S. border under a zero-tolerance policy. Jennifer, her children, and many others have been staying at this small shelter run by the Catholic Church in McAllen, Texas. Jennifer did not want to be interviewed on camera, and she did not want her last name used. She's scared, but in many ways, she's lucky. She doesn't understand why her children were not separated from her, like the more than 2,300 other children that were under Donald Trump's zero-tolerance immigration policy for asylum seekers. Those children remain in shelter detention centers, and nobody seems to know how or when they will be reunited. Also in McAllen was First Lady Melania Trump, visiting one such shelter, which had taken in several children separated from their parents due to her husband's hardline policy. But her show of compassion is being overshadowed by the jacket she wore on the plane on the way to Texas. Trump's spokesperson admits it was a jacket just like this one, with the words, I really don't care, do you? But not to read anything into it. Civil rights activists also visiting McAllen were less concerned about the First Lady's attire, and more concerned about President Trump's executive order to end separations at the border, which they say is now too little too late. This is one of the most immoral, unthinkable acts that I've seen, and he's done some despicable things. This is near the top of the list. We're here a day after there was an executive order which relieved a very, very little of the current crisis. And it's temporary. It's not a permanent solution. As for Jennifer, she's been holding on to her faith, her future uncertain, but grateful she at least has her children. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, McAllen, Texas.